In this section of the tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to import media into the media bin and then maybe drag and drop them into the timeline and do some basic editing within Clipchamp. So for this tutorial, I've tried to create some folders over here, Clipchamp folder. I have some B-rolls over here. You can see some B-rolls and I have some videos over here. I've classified them, I have images, I have videos. And I have uh, some other, some music over here. If you want to import some music, you have them over here. I've just reclassified everything and tried to arrange them just to understand folder management and all that. Let's see how we can import media. You can drag and drop easily if you want, or you can just go ahead and come to import media and it's going to navigate, show you around. So you can just select a given B-roll and you can select you can select a given image so you can select these images for example and just click on open and it's going to import them over here so if you want to do drag and drop you have to select over here you have to open the b-rolls open the videos for example and you select these two videos i can drag them and drop them in the timeline and you can see it is uploading them both okay into the timeline so what i can do next is i have imported these two videos and two images i can just easily select you have the option to delete or you can add it to the timeline by just clicking on this plus sign and it's going to add it to the timeline just like so so you can navigate around go back to the beginning and you can play to have a preview this is a clean video without audio in the background there's no any audio so you have the option to use the playhead and navigate around across okay so you can select the clip you can move it around to any layer you can move top or bottom if you want or you can move it around easily by just dragging and moving around another thing you can do in terms of basic editing is you can come to the edge over here and you can see the cursor just turn into this arrow sign you can use it to drag you can drag across to trim it from right and you can go to the left also you can drag across to trim it from the left okay the advantage of this is if at any given point you decided you want to go back to the normal video you can come hover over to the edge also and just drag and move away and it's going to bring back the section that you have uh, you've trimmed which means basically you've just like cropped the section okay so you can easily take it back and you are now back to your normal video clip so you can move it around to the edge and another basic editing that you can do is splitting the clip so you can navigate around with your playhead to any given point assuming i want to split at this point this very media into two clips i can come to these scissors and click it to split while I select the audio or alternatively I can undo I can come to this selection and press on letter S to split also it's another way and maybe I don't want this point I can select it right click and I have a number of options I can delete directly or I can select the audio and mute it or I can detach the audio if there is any audio I can split also at any given point I can copy this okay or i can duplicate this you can duplicate by just using the letter d and you can see it has duplicated it okay and you can right click also and you have a bunch of options you can copy and then you can come over here and you can paste okay you can do ctrl v to paste and you can select any section and come over here and delete that just like i've explained now this is very basic and you can move around the clips in any given at any given point if you want to reshuffle them you want to bring it to the top you don't want to shift this forward or you want to bring it to this point to start here and move this one to this point to start here you can do all that from here see you can do all that by just uh, using your mouse to move around very easily and then you have the zooming in and out over here if you want to zoom into fit this is zoom into fit and everything is going to fit under the screen or if you want to zoom out to see more clearly uh, to see to zoom out at least to see other section you can use the negative sign and if you want to zoom in to see the details or a given feature or anything in detail, you can always press the plus sign and you'll be able to see that uh, very nicely. I think I prefer to zoom to fit so I can see everything within the timeline, everything, all the clips within the timeline, except um, if I'm trying to create, um, to split or do something at a given specific point, then I can zoom into that point and do that particular action. Okay, so this is the video showing on the canvas. Once you select it or once you select a particular video from here, you'll have the option here to see it on the canvas. And by the side, you have a plenty of options like the flip vertical. You can flip it to vertical if you want, or you can flip it to horizontal if you want. By just clicking on flip horizontal, you'll be able to flip this particular clip to horizontal. 
So this is flip vertical. You can see this is flip horizontal. So let's uh, take it back. You can see now they have reversed. Okay, so you can see very nicely. And you can rotate as well to any given point. You can rotate to, you can rotate more. And you can rotate more also to 270 degrees and then maybe 360 degrees and you're back to where you started. And then you have option to check in this and make it a picture in picture. So you have, you can make it a picture in picture. You can move it to the right. Like we've explained earlier, you can move this to the top left. If you are doing a tutorial video, you can make it to the, to the bottom left or bottom right as you so wish. Or you can take it back and you can fit in take it back to fit and you can do all that and down here you can move by frame rates five frame rates backward or five frame rates forward or you can move to the next frame rate with just the click of this so this is basically how to do some basic editing with clip champ at any given point you may select a clip and you can do other things for example you can come over here and you can change the audio if you want if it has on audio you can reduce the the music to any length or if you want to detach you can detach from here or you can create a fade okay fade in and out of the music you can create a fade in and out or you can put in some filters in cases when you want to add filters so as you navigate around you can see you can add any given filter for example this one and i think i don't like it once you select a given filter you can come over here and see the intensity you can play around with the intensity you can re reduce the intensity or increase it as you so wish okay so i think reducing the intensity makes it a little bit better i think this point is good so you can add intensity uh, filters and then you can adjust coloration uh, which i will show you later in details how to do so let's say if you want to adjust the coloration you can come over here select the color and you have the color features over here all right so you can adjust the exposure you can play around with the exposure increase it a little bit if you want and then you can increase or decrease the contrast as you so wish all right and then you can play around with the saturation as well you see now you can make it warmer or you can make it colder as you so wish the saturation you can reduce the coloration just the amount of color in the in the video and you can increase the temperature you can make it colder or you can make it hotter as you move to the right okay but i think i prefer it to go a bit colder all right and then you can i think that does it for this one and you can reset the the settings at any given point if you are not so certain and then you can play around with the clip speed down here you can uh, speed it up as it is now is uh, is times one you can make it up to times 16 if you want and it's going to move pretty fast all you need is just to drag this and move it and it's going to shorten the clip and increase the speed of the video so let's have a preview and see you can see now they move faster as against the way they used to move initially which is slower you can see they were slow in slow motion before but then after increasing the speed you can see they are now moving faster so that's how to increase the speed of a clip so for now i think basically this is how to use this clip champ to do some very basic editing in our clips so i think that does it for this tutorial on how to do very basic editing thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one